Hello, my name is João Madreira and I'm a neuroideologist at Hospital Santa Maria Lisbon and a former fellow at Neuroibicetre. In this series of videos, we will cover the main topics regarding radial access neurointerventions and how this fits the overall history of ENR. In this section, we will review the main steps of radial puncture according to the Neuroibicetre current practice. In the full presentation, you can find uh, some uh, studies that have been published about all the steps in the procedure to try and identify the best uh, approach. But to review the, the most important steps, we start with patient preparation. And before the procedure, you can apply a topical lidocaine, a nitroglycerin cream at the wrist area to try and increase the radial artery size and reduce pain. And pain control is really important for radial artery because the radial artery has a lot of sensitive uh, uh, receptors and if there's pain, the artery can spasm. So pain control is really important. After you do this, you position the patient and the hand can be positioned in the more uh, in under flexion or rotation if you want a proximal or distal radial access Point. And afterwards, you do the, uh, anesthetic, the local anesthetic. And uh, the anesthetic uh, should be done under echography. And this is important to identify the artery and try and avoid puncturing the artery while uh, infusing the, um, the anesthetic. And you should carefully select your probe and your settings to have a good view of the radial artery. After that, you assess radial artery under echography uh, and the palpation, and you inject subcutaneous lidocaine with or without uh, nitroglycerin. Puncture uh, under uh, uh, echo guidance, and in the bicetre, normally it's used a single wall puncture to avoid uh, excessive uh, artery trauma. And then you do the micropuncture uh, with a micro, micropuncture radial specific um, system. And then you place the sheath over the guide wire like you normally do. And after you have the sheath in place, you infuse the, uh, you should infuse the radial cocktail. And there's a lot of mixtures and there's not a secret, secret formula for the radial cocktail. And what it's done, but what it's done in Bicetri, it's normally a mixture of 5,000 units of uh, heparin uh, to avoid um, uh, thrombosis and 2.5 uh, milligrams of uh, verapamil to uh, a spasmolytic to avoid artery spasm and increase artery size. The uh, administration of this radial cocktail should be uh, done with a mixture of uh, patient blood and do it slowly to reduce uh, patient uh, discomfort and pain, which, as we said earlier, can increase spasm. Um, after that, it's important to do an uh, arm angiogram at the cubital fossa to understand some of the variants and identify the recurrent artery and avoid uh, wrongly catheterizing this uh, vessel since it uh, also goes up like the brachial artery. And after you reach the aortic arch, you should try and catheterize the supraortic trunks. Normally, this is done with a Simon II catheter, and the curvature can be done both at the ascending or descending aorta or at one of the supraortic uh, trunks. But the best way is uh, to use the descending aorta, because if you use the uh, ascending aorta, you can you can do some valve or heart uh, trauma and induce arrhythmia. So you should try and use the descending aorta. If you need to do, to do a treatment, uh, for example, to treat an aneurysm or a thrombectomy, you might need uh, a support, a large support uh, catheter. And there are some ca support catheters that have been uh, designed for the, the radial or that allow uh, a good catheterization of the radial artery, which you can find here in uh, these slides. And normally, uh, this catheter is put in place with an uh, exchange guide wire. After that, it's important to use a good closure technique. And the point uh, about uh, the closure, the hemostasis technique, is to use the less amount of pressure and the less amount of time, because this helps reduce the risk of radial uh, artery uh, occlusion after the procedure. Normally, uh, uh, at 
we said three, they are they use uh, special uh, radial uh, bands both for the more proximal or distal uh, access but there are uh, different brands in the in the market and uh, these are the main steps of the radial access and in the next and final uh, section we will review the main access challenges and complications and how to solve them thank you for your attention <laughs>